Shalom. All praise to the Heavenly Father, in the name of His only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit. Double honors to my teachers, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutation to you, sincere and humble brothers, faithfully and diligently preaching this word with fear and trembling. Shalom to the believers who subscribe wholeheartedly to this truth through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. This is 2 Thessalonians 2, starting at verse 3. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed. The son of perdition, who opposeth and exalted himself above all that is called Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah power, or that is worshipped, so that he, as Yahweh power, sitteth in the temple of Yahweh power, showing himself that he is Yahweh power. Okay, and this was inspired uh, ultimately by the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. When I thought about, meditated on this scripture, particularly verse 4, where it says, He sitteth in the temple of the Most High, showing himself that he is the Most High. Okay. That he is the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's Esau Edom. Okay, that's Esau Edom, of course. And in that very time, all right, who was sitting in the temple when Yahweh Shai came on the scene? Herod the Great. As you see his title, King of Judea. Or in other words, King of the Jews. Now, who ultimately is the king? Yahweh Shah. And when Yahweh Shah was on the scene, coming on the scene, who was seeking to, to, to kill Yahweh Shah? Herod the Great. Right. And we know that this man of sin is Esau Edom. We know that Herod the Great was indeed an Edomite. Okay. So this very scripture applies to him. Now check it out. It say he was king of Judea, right? King of the Jews. Herod one, or Herod the first, rather, also known as Herod the Great, was a Roman client king of Judea, referred to as the Herodian Kingdom. It says he was born seventy two B.C. Edom. He was born in the land of Edom. Say his nationality was a Roman, but there's no such thing as the nationality of a Roman. According to the table of nations, right? He was an Edomite. Parents, Antipater, the Idumian. Antipater, the Idumian. So there's no way, all right, that he would have been an Israelite. He was just sitting in the position, all right, he was in that position of an Israelite and not just any Israelite, 
But as it says here, Herod the Great, King of Judea. Now we know Yahweh Shah. He's the king. Okay. He's the king of the Jews. So this scripture again, who opposeth and exalted himself above all that is called the most high or that is worshiped so that he as the most high sitteth in the temple of the most high, showing himself that he is the most high. So at that time, all right, Herod was in the seat of Yahweh Shai. And we know that this scripture, all right, particularly verses three, okay, through eight, Asalakia through nine, is talking about Esau Edom. And I'll finish it off reading through. Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things. Okay, so the reason this scripture comes out a lot is because Yahweh Shah told us to remember this. And now ye know what withhold it, that he might be revealed in this time. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now let it will let until he be taken out of the way. So this was total wickedness being worked in the time for these heathens to be in our land and appoint themselves uh, as kings and appoint themselves as the authorities over our land and over our people. Okay? And remember, when Yahweh Shai came on the scene at his birth, Herod was seeking to kill Yahweh Shai. And he knew of the prophecies of his coming. Okay? But what was he, what was he doing? He was working iniquity. But the Lord allowed him to do this for prophecy's sake, right? And this was all prophesied to come to pass, so it had to happen. That's why it says, uh, only he who now let it will let until he be taken out of the way. So at this very time, are they not still sitting in the temple of the Most High, Jerusalem, all right, Israel, which is a people before it's a place. They are to this very day, uh, they have dominion over our land. The Edomites, the Edomites, the Ashkenazi Jews, or, uh, you know, Jewish a state those are Edomites verse 8 and then shall that wicked be revealed why because the Lord is taking this man out of his power he's taking the power away from this man the power that this man has possessed since he had since he has come into rulership he's taking the deception his power to deceive away. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord Yahweh shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even whose coming is after the working of Satan. Right, so all this man's works reflect, all right, the adversary. Okay, all of his ways are contrary to the righteousness of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. With all power and signs and lying wonders. And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. 
right? So the only ones that are not going to get it are those that the Lord, uh, as it says, verse 11, and for this cause, Yahweh Bashim Shah shall send them strong delusions that they shall believe a lie, that they all might be damned who believe not the truth, but have pleasure in unrighteousness. Okay? So the only ones that are not going to get it are the ones that the Lord is going to uh, blind from this truth. So you got these guys talking about Herod was an Israelite. How? This is the proof. Just a simple Google search of Herod the Great tells you plainly. It says nothing about him being a Jew or an Israelite other than he was appointed the king over Judea, which was a province of Rome at the time. Okay? So, Lord will, you were edified. Call Lord and Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, Wawakakodash, all praises to the Heavenly Father in the name of His only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit. Kwam Yasharala, Ababa Baal, rise Israel, destroy confusion, Shalom, Wamla, Bakhayim. Peace to the lip. Follow one.